Hello and welcome guys to Adception. This video is all about the ICSE 2021 Class 10 Mathematics Board Examination. In this video, we discuss a few things using which you can maximize your score in the Mathematics Board Examination. The video is divided in three sections. In the first section, we discuss about the reduced syllabus of mathematics. In the second section, we discuss about the question paper pattern of mathematics board examination. And in the third section, we discuss a few tips using which you can prepare for your mathematics board examination and maximize your score. So without any further ado, let's begin. Let's begin with the reduced syllabus for the ICSE 2021 mathematics board examination. Now, there are 10 chapters where either the entire chapter has been removed or some portion of the chapter has been removed. Let's check it out. First, shares and dividends. The entire chapter of shares and dividends has been removed. Second, ratio and proportion. From ratio and proportion, direct simple applications on proportion has been removed. That means word problems from the chapter ratio and proportions has been removed. Next, geometric progression. The entire section of geometric progression has been removed. Next, equation of a straight line. From equation of a straight line, the condition for two lines to be parallel or perpendicular has been removed. That means two formulas from the chapter equation of a straight line have been removed. First, for two parallel lines, m is equal to m1. Second, for two perpendicular lines, m into m1 is equal to minus 1. So these two formulas have been removed from the chapter equation of a straight line. Next, similarity. From similarity, the section of maps and models has been removed. Next, locus. The entire chapter of locus has been removed. Next, circles. From circles, two things have been removed. First, proof of all the theorems have been removed. Now, this is not a big removal because since I have known ICSC, I have not seen a single sum asking the proof of any theorem from the chapter circles. Still, proof of all the theorems from the chapter circles has been removed. Next, three theorems from tangent properties have been removed from the chapter circles. Over here, I would like to tell you one thing. It is better to study all the theorems from the chapter circles. There are two reasons behind this. First of all, there are many theorems in the chapter circles. Only three theorems have been removed. So it is better to study all the theorems because for a particular sum, it can be easy to solve that using a particular theorem and it can become very difficult to solve it using some other theorem. So it is better to know all the theorems of the chapter circles. Secondly, in competitive examinations, questions are asked from the chapter circles and class 10 is the last stage where you will study this particular chapter. So it is better to study all the theorems over here. Next, construction. The entire section of construction has been removed. That means tangents, circumcircle and incircle of a triangle and circumcircle and incircle of a hexagon have been removed. Next, mensuration. From mensuration, the section of spear has been removed. That means you will only have cylinder and cone. Spear has been removed from mensuration. Finally, we have statistics. That means measure of central tendency. Over here, there is only a slight change. Mean by any one method out of direct, shortcut and step deviation. Earlier, you had to know all the three methods that is direct shortcut and step deviation but for the year 2021 you only have to know mean by a single method out of direct or shortcut or step deviation over here also i will tell you that it is better to know all the three methods okay so this was the reduced syllabus for icsc 2021 mathematics board examination i told you two things First of all, it is better 
to learn and study all the theorems that that are present in the chapter circles secondly it is better to know all the three methods to calculate mean that is direct shortcut and step deviation other than that you can safely not study everything else that is present over here moving on to the question paper pattern of the icse 2021 mathematics board examination the question paper will be of 80 marks and you will get 2 and 1/2 hours to solve it you will also get 15 minutes to read the question paper before you begin writing that means 80 marks question paper 2 and 1/2 hours writing time and 15 minutes reading time the question paper is divided in two sections section a 40 marks and section b 40 marks let's begin with section a section a 40 marks this is a compulsory section and you will have to attempt all the questions in this section you will get four questions question 1 question 2 question 3 and question 4 each question is of 10 marks each so 4 into 10 gives you 40 marks now for each question there will be three subdivisions a b and c what is the mark subdivision 3 marks 3 marks and 4 marks so in total you will have to solve 3 into 4 that is 12 sums in section a and you will have to solve all those 12 sums because section a is a compulsory section now what type of questions are asked in section a generally in section a questions are asked from easier topics where the calculation is less so section a 40 marks it is a compulsory section you will have to attempt all the questions over here there will be 12 sums in total and what type of sums are asked sums from easier topics and sums that have less calculations are asked in section a moving on to section b section b 40 marks in section b you will have to attempt any four questions out of the seven questions that you get you will get question 5 question 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 out of these seven questions you will have to attempt any four all the questions are of 10 marks each so 4 into 10 gives you 40 marks what is the subdivision over here now six questions will have the subdivision a b and c with the mark subdivision 3 3 and 4 and one question in section b will have two subdivisions a and b where one subdivision will be of 6 marks and the other subdivision will be of 4 marks now this 6 marks sum will be the ojive sum so ojive so this is the subdivision and mark subdivision for section b you will get seven questions out of those seven questions you will have to attempt any four questions all the questions are of 10 marks each so 4 into 10 gives you 40 marks out of the seven questions in six questions there will be three subdivisions a b and c with 3 3 and 4 marks and one question will have two subdivisions a and b with six marks and four marks where the six mark sum is the ojive sum so that was section b now what type of sums are asked in section b in section b sums are asked from comparatively difficult topics and where the calculation is larger as compared to sums from section a now majority of the bigger chapters where it's very time consuming to solve sums that means construction locus uh, geometric progression all those chapters have been removed still from the chapters that are left sums will be asked from difficult topics comparatively difficult topics there is no difficult topic in class 10 and sums that have little larger calculations will be asked in section b so guys that was all regarding the question paper pattern for the icse 2021 mathematics board examination 
there has been no change in the question paper pattern it is similar as before there is no change for this year now guys we will move on to the next section and the final section of the video that means tips using which you can prepare for this examination and maximize your score moving on to tips for your icsc 2021 mathematics board exam the first tip for any maths exam is time management because knowing how to solve all the sums is one thing but solving all those sums in a given time frame is a whole other thing so time management is very important in any mathematics exam especially if it is a board examination now over here we have Two and a half hours writing time and fifteen minutes reading time. So the writing time comes out to be one five zero minutes. Now, first and foremost, I will deduct ten minutes from the writing time. So minus ten minutes, which will give me one four zero one forty minutes. Now, out of these one forty minutes. i will utilize 60 minutes for section a so 60 minutes and the remaining 80 minutes for section b 80 minutes now if you utilize 60 minutes for section a you will get 15 minutes per question in section a so 15 minutes and 15 minutes per question for section a is more than enough time 80 minutes for section b that means for each question you will get 20 minutes so 20 minutes for each question and 20 minutes for each question in section b is more than enough time now what to do with the remaining 10 minutes now these remaining 10 minutes are very very important you have to utilize the remaining 10 minutes for revising your entire answer script and checking it after you have finished writing because in mathematics examination error are very prominent especially silly mistakes so you need to have 10 minutes in your hand at the end so that you can check the entire answer script for errors and silly mistakes so definitely keep at least 10 minutes in your hand at the end of the examination to check and revise your entire answer script so this is my suggestion how you can use those 150 minutes writing time now what to do with the 15 minutes reading time that you get so 15 minutes now in the 15 minutes reading time that you get i would suggest that first of all you read section b because in section b you will have to select four questions that you are going to attempt so read section b first and then and there find the four questions that you are going to attempt that is very important after that read section a but do read the entire question paper okay read section b first and find the four questions that you want to attempt and then read section a in the 15 minutes reading time that you get so guys that was my suggestion for the time management if you have your own time management then that is great because we ourselves know how to manage our time best moving on to the next step for the mathematics board exam this is also very important keeping your mind clear now keeping your mind clear is important for all the examinations no doubt but in mathematics examination it becomes very important because you have to concentrate a lot and you have to do a lot of calculations if your mind is clean and if your mind is clear then you won't face any problems in concentrating so try to keep your mind clear during the examination that will help you a lot the next step is show all the working steps clearly and do the rough work on the same page as the sum now in icse mathematics board examination you will get step marking so it is very important and it is compulsory that you show all the working steps clearly for all the sums secondly the rough work 
the rough work should be done on the same page as the sum. How to do that? Say this is a page of your answer script. On the right hand margin, draw a line, write rough on top and if you solve a sum over here, then you should do the rough work of that particular sum in the same page over here. This is also very important. So write all the working steps clearly and do the rough work for a sum in the same page as the sum. The next tip, big calculations. Now this is a good tip for people who make a lot of silly errors in the exam. Now if you are doing a big calculation, say for example a big division or a big multiplication or calculations using decimals that require a lot of concentration. You should check those big calculations then and there. It will only take you 15 to 20 seconds to check that calculation. If it is fine, you can move forward and if there is any error, you can correct that then and there. Say there is a sum which has two to three big calculations. You don't check the calculations then and there and at the end of the sum, you find the answer is coming wrong. Then you will have to go back to the sum and check all the calculations from the beginning. So if you are doing a big calculation and you check it then and there, like I told you, it will only take 15 to 20 seconds. And if you have made any error, you will find it there and it will not cause harm to your whole sum. So checking big calculations then and there is a good practice to follow in mathematics examinations. Next, uh, this is also very important. If you get stuck on a single sum, don't get stuck over there only. Move on to the next sum. Say for example, in section A, for each question, you are utilizing 15 minutes. That means for each subdivision, you will get five minutes. Now, if one sum is taking more than 10 minutes for you to solve, it is better to move on to the next sum. Because if you get stuck over there, you will surely miss out on sums that are present at the end of the paper. So guys, if you are stuck on any particular sum, don't be stuck there. Move on to the next sum. If you get time in the end, then you can come back and redo the sum from the beginning or check the sum. So don't get stuck on a single sum. Keep moving on to the next sums. So guys, that were all the tips that you can follow during the examination. There are a few tips for your preparation too. First of all, how to prepare chapter wise. The first thing that you should do is you should solve all the sums in the exercise of a chapter. After solving all the sums in the exercise, you should solve all the sums in the examples. So first you solve all the sums in the exercise, then you solve all the sums in the examples. And after that, solve all the sums that have been asked in previous year board papers. So exercise, examples and previous year board paper. That will help your practice and it will also help you understand what type of questions are asked in the board examination. Secondly, solving model papers is very important in mathematics and you should try to solve model papers in two hours. You have two and a half hours writing time for your board examination. So you should try to solve model papers in two hours and also previous year full board papers in two hours. That will help you with your practice and it will also help you with time management. If you are able to solve model papers and previous years board question papers in two hours, then you will not face any problem in solving this entire thing in two and a half hours. So that is also a good practice to follow. Then, so that were all the tips that I had mentioned in my sheet. If you guys have any other tips that you yourself follow for any examination, you can mention it in the comment section below for others to know too. So guys, that was all regarding the ICSC 2021 mathematics board paper. So guys, all the best, take care and good luck.